one, two. Hello out there in YouTube land. Rival here. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I got a couple pimp jobs on the turntable for you today. Uh, so we will dive in. Uh, this is actually a knife of mine. Um, I have been, uh, well, I'm not a huge fan of, Emer of Emerson's, but, but I do like some of their designs. I've seen this one for a very long time. It's an A100. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they're recently uh, starting to discontinue production in these, so I wanted to, to get one to try it out um, and uh, also try out a couple of new things with it. Um, as you can see, we've got, uh, this is Maple Burl, uh, and then uh, F50 Ghost Carbon Fiber uh, for the bolster. Um, I think it turned out pretty damn good. Uh, one nice looking Emerson. Um, I like this design because it's kind of, it's very minimalist. Uh, I'm a fan of, of those kind of straight uh, designs. Um, almost Quaken style, but I mean different blade shape, but I just, I like how that looks overall. Um, rounded contour on the back side, bolster. Uh, I did not make the clip. It's a deep carry clip. Uh, I believe I actually got it on eBay um, from a gentleman who makes them very nice. Uh, I, the clip on this design, for my particular taste, not a fan of how much blade it would have left sticking out. Um, so that deep carry really helps make up for that. Um, yeah, maple burl scales. And then to match, uh, I've got a maple burl. Backspacer. Backspacer is not 100% perfect. I got to go uh, go in there and touch it up just a smidge. You can see right at the edge there, it kind of popped out a little for me. Um, so I just got to go fix that. Uh, but I wanted to get some pics of this thing out. Um, that burl really has a cool look to it. Uh, and then the contrast of that light wood and the carbon fiber. I might actually replace this backspacer with a carbon fiber backspacer to bring some of that black color into the back end of the knife. Might not even keep this knife to tell you the truth. I had a lot of fun pimping it, but I don't know how much I'm gonna carry it. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a grinder run pretty soon here. So I'm, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of jobs uh, to save up some funds to get a new grinder. So probably gonna be thinning out some of my collection here. Um, but yeah, that is the Emerson A100. Full size A100, not the mini. Uh, carbon fiber bolster, maple burl scales. And then in the little zipper pouch here uh, from a friend. Um, so tried uh, not a new technique, but a slightly different technique from. I don't do a lot of this stuff on pimp jobs, but uh, this is a ZT0450. And I'm trying, I don't really have a good uh, macro lens on here, but hopefully I, I believe you're getting some of the orange peel. Uh, so we did an orange peel on the titanium. Uh, and then after doing the orange peel, I put a gold anodization on it. Um, and I'll tell you what, the orange peel finish with the anodizing, um, super fingerprint resistant. Um, you know, one downside to anodizing is depending on the finish that's on the knife, um, it can be prone to fingerprints, um, lower... Uh, voltage colors more so than higher voltage colors, but even high voltage colors a little bit, uh, you get a little bit of discoloration just over time from the oils in your hands and fingers. Um, but this gold really holds up well with the orange peel. Um, plus it looks pimp as hell. Uh, especially with like that, uh, that chrome and satin color. Uh, I left the pocket clip, nice little contrast to match in with the hardware and the blade. And then of course, whoop, the red standoffs. Not a lot of colors that would really work anodizing wise with those red standoffs. Um, but I think that gold looks really badass with that. Most expensive looking, four or 550 anyways. Um, so there you go. That is uh, orange peel titanium on the ZT0450, gold anodizing. And then the Emerson A100, maple burl, ghost carbon fiber. Uh, but those are pimp jobs of the week. I uh, got lots more stuff coming up here, and uh, so just keep stopping by. More knife reviews, a couple more pimp jobs on the turntable. I'm going to do a spotlight on some anodizing. I got a hinderer on the bench right now, a, a John Gray comb, a titanium comb. Um, so lots of fun stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Like and, ah, like and subscribe. Peace.